and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Grixis control. I mean, ever since, I mean, even before Nickel Bull's Dragon God was printed, Grixis control had been one of my favorite decks in standard. I really played it more Grixis discard style with disinformation campaign at that point, but um, now we have Nickel Bull's Dragon God and it's one of my favorite cards to play. Just that plus ability is so powerful. You know, drawing a card, making your opponent exile a card from their hand or permanent they control. Uh, you know, the plus just being a two for one. Like they have to exile a resource, you gain another resource. Um, just a really fun card to play. So yeah, we're back at it here uh, with Grixis Control. We're going to be playing it in ranked. See how we do. We didn't do a very good job of ranking up with Sultai Treachery a little bit ago. Uh, played lots of close games. It just didn't go our way. But let's see how we do with uh, our control deck here. Basically the same kind of structure as, like the, uh, as the last times I've been playing Grixis Control as well. Like There's not anything too, um, too different that we're playing in here. Oh, I guess I'm going to try a Rao, actually. So there we go. There's our different card. I'm going to try a Rao on the sideboard for like your Esper Control matchup and just other uh, grind, grindy matchups. And even just... Um, even against like other creature decks, I think like post board having an extra five mana planeswalker could really help whenever you are bringing in more removal spells. Also, just to have another um, card advantage engine, because uh, usually the post board games go longer. Um, you know, because they 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 have like their interaction for you, you have more interaction for them, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna try a rally in the sideboard. I want to try that out. Could see. I mean, like usually I'd have like an Ugin there but i'm gonna try rally as some as something that's five instead of six mana and can also be removal that doesn't get veil of summered let's, let's give it a try yeah i only played the grixis ego deck one time um but that it was it was fun to play for that one time but uh yeah i, I only played it the one time basically I uh, didn't have the most success with it. Basically, I don't. I don't think the the ego deck. I don't think it's very good against aggro and creature decks in general. But it's but it's really good against like Nexus and Field of the Dead and and Control even um, and like those kind of matchups. It's like the the slow decks. It, it's very good against. Oh yeah, I guess Veil does stop Ral. I was thinking with the black part, but yeah, there's also the blue part. So. Never mind. Um, all right, good curve. Good mana. Really like having three black sources with our Nicol Bolas Dragon God deck. A couple of days ago, somebody in chat asked me what card if I could reprint any card that, that's rotating out, what card would I choose? And, you know, I said Nickel Bolas the Ravager. I'm going to miss this card. It's a, it's a fun card to play. Really like it. I'm going to miss that one. But then I also, after I said that, I also realized, wait, no, probably Blood Sun because... Um, I'm not sure what... Standard's going to look like a Field of the Dead doesn't have, like, anything at all to keep it in check. Yeah, I think Ral's underplayed, too. I think Ral is a good, um, a really good quality card that doesn't see too much play. Coming until it's too late. Its loss will serve us. Don't flatter yourself. All right, we can take out the Golgari Queen that uh, would have otherwise taken out Narset.
Ooh, getting rid of the casualties of war. It's a good sign for us. Well, not necessarily a good sign for us, because casualties of war is a pretty busted magic card. But it's a good discard, and yeah, it looks like they're short on mana. So even, you know, Nyssa does not kill Dragon God. More casualties of war. Let your weak minds cry. We'll wipe your bloodline from existence. All right, Assassin's Trophy gain, giving us that extra mana. Why be a beast when I can be a god? And there we go. Get our nickel boluses back. Grasp, grasp. Negate, negate. Ral. I think I do want negates in this kind of matchup because of, as we saw, we saw multiple casualties of war, but then also just all their planeswalkers with Nyssa, Vraska, um, that kind of stuff. And then also, of course, they're going to have their Veil of Summers. And so countering a Veil of Summer is nice as well. Um, that gets us to 65. I think I can take, I'm going to take out a Narset, the Cry of the Carnarium. And the Legion's Ends. Because they, they could definitely be Wild Growth Walker where, like, Legion's End would be nice. But just to get, like, the mana creatures, I'm going to just rely on Ritual of Soot to clean up the mana creatures. Um, yeah, Elder... So that's the thing. It's like... Elder Spell is good. Like, Cry the Carnarium can be okay. But yeah, Elder Spell is good. Um, but I don't, I don't think I really want to play Elder Spell, basically, because, you know, we already have the, the so we're going to have the three Noxious Grafts and three Bedevils that can kill Planeswalkers, and then so can Nicol Bolas and Chandra. So I think that's good enough. I think. But not sure. And I'm going to cut an Ascanta. With Ascanta getting eaten up by Golgari Queen. Oh yeah, curving out, like, we had just a great curve there. Yeah, whenever you curve out into Dragon God, um, life is good. <laughs> Go 61 out of 60. <laughs> no, cut, cut that as Kanta, so it should be at 60. Alright, we're back to 60. But yeah, I did have that 61 showing for a little while there. If I play, if I would have played the Drown Catacomb last turn, I could have had Bedevil up. I wonder if they had Nyssa and they didn't want Nyssa to get negated. No? Nope, looks like they're just kind of waiting on casualties of war, I guess. So therefore, I probably should not play... Dragon God into Casualties of War.
Crucible. Crucible is cool. I really don't want them to have casualties of war. But we do have the backup dragon god. To my will. I have other schemes to attend. My intellect is without limit. No, no. Darn. Your defiance is infuriating. My schemes are never ending. That's unfortunate. Huh. Speaking of unfortunate, of unfortunate, sorry. Just the trick for this. All right, so assume, assuming they kill Dragon God here, I really hope they just brick for a turn, draw a land, and then we get to hold up negate plus removal and Kefnet outraces Carnage Tyrant. I have other plans. Okay, so we should have this. Open mind. We should be good. I know eighty eight ways to defeat you. Pick with thoughtfulness before action. So of course if I if I um if I flip as Kanta it gets destroyed by the field of ruin. I'd rather just kinda sit out here. Yep, outrace and carnage tyrant. Barely. I outsmarted you eons ago. But we should be doing it. Meditate and prepare. No, it is just barely. So they need like uncounterable way to kill Kefnet. I don't even know if that's a I don't know if that's a thing or not. I don't think that's a thing. No, I don't have any dispersals. But no, I, I have no way to get uh Carnage Tyrant off the battlefield with just a removal spell. I have um cards like Nicol Bolas the Ravager that can trans like you know, I can get like multiple creatures with those two, but then also a Ravager can transform and, and get their stuff to block Carnage Sirens.
All right, one out. Hey, Marias. Going real good. What's up, Space? Frisky Biscuits, everybody. If we want to reach Mythic, we got to win three in a row. We'll start with this one. So, still possible. Ugh. Can we hit land drops? Thought Razor should help us hit land drops. Turn one land war off on the play. We just have to ditch it. I mean, Ritual of Soot's an awesome card here, but we just have to ditch it. Well, this is a really bad pairing for us, the Vine Mare deck. Um, basically, if they draw Vine Mare and play Vine Mare, I lose. Like, I, I can't beat Vine Mare. Yeah, I have, I have nothing against Vine Mare. Even Chandra's minus three deals damage to non-elemental creatures, and Vine Mare is an elemental. <laughs> so, I honestly have nothing against Vine Mare. My opponent's a 4x Vine Mare deck. So even though, even though I'm looking really good here, okay, yeah, and so even though I win this game, I don't like my chances of winning this match. <laughs> but we'll see. All right, we got Grasp. I mean, I could... War boss, can you? No, you can't block Vine Mare. Gosh, I have nothing. Yeah, just straight up nothing. Kefnet. Kefnet can block War boss. Okay, never mind. We got one card. We have a Kefnet. We have one Kefnet. No, Vine Mare has hexproof. Yeah. I mean, we could ego Vine Mare. Ugh, that's. It's not ideal though. I mean, that is something we could do. Down, 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 down. Would I rather have negate over duress? Kind of. Yeah. All right, here we go. I like that. <laughs> Just the two comments right, right in a row back to back. Unmoored Ego seems nice. Ego seems terrible. <laughs> two back to back. Um... It's where we draw a two mana spell. <laughs> not the best two mana spell, but not the worst. What's up, Zerf? Happy Sunday. That's a better two mana spell. So do it, basically doing it right now because of Veil of Summer. So just doing that while they're tapped out. All right, good. I was going to say that they could play the Vivian Arcbow Ranger, and I wouldn't like that. But that was a really good turn for us. Just pass with Negate and Bedevil available. We can do either or, depending on what my opponent does. Ooh. Hmm. One more 
In case they did have a vine mirror, just went with the thought erasure. This vine mirror is so difficult to beat. So consider using Ravager, they discard Barkhide Troll, I Bedevil the 12 12. Oh no. Ugh, GG. So, I mean, I don't like my chances here. Just unblockable hexproof, five power creature. It's gonna be really tough to win. So they got us for one, one game there. I don't, I don't have an out. I don't have anything I can possibly draw to stay alive next turn. Yeah, Vine Mare is an elemental horse, so Chandra's minus three doesn't doesn't hurt it either. My only my only out is Kefnet to block, but I don't have du I don't have two blue right now, so even drawing Kefnet doesn't work because I don't have two blue. <laughs> yeah, it's just an elemental also. Uh... So we have to we have to win the next game with them not drawing Vine Mare like that. You know, like that's that's the thing I can't I can't stop that. Um I don't know, maybe I do need to ego instead of Narset. Honestly, maybe I have to. I guess I have to. I mean, the card's just, it's unbeatable. I can't, I have no shot. Yeah. Yeah, we won game one, and so I was like, okay, maybe we don't actually have to ego it, but I have no shot. Grixis Gates. <laughs> so my opponent has Veil of Summer, and I'd rather than Veil of Summer the Legion's End than the Thought Erasure.
Well, GG's. So I have... <laughs> Can't beat that. Vine Mare is just unbeatable. It's just four mana win the game. So. They had it on turn three. Four mana, you win the game. Congratulations. we do a little better here we so far have won every single game our opponent has not played a vine mare this league <laughs> we're 3-0 when they've not played vine like in there's been five games we've played the three games they've not played vine mare we've won all of those the two games our opponent played vine mare it's just impossible to win <laughs> that game was horse crap <laughs> Yes, there are cards in the format I could be playing to uh, to deal with Vine Mare, but there's none in my deck. It's it's not a card that you see, you know. Besides, like one out of you know fifty to hundred matches, you play against somebody with Vine Mare, and and then if you do, you just hope they don't draw it. Two of the three games, but our opponent drew it two of the three games, and so we died. Now, deck's not helping me out too much. Steam Vents is, is my worst possible draw step, and so we had Steam Vents, Steam Vents back to back. Worst possible draw step. I can certainly see that being too greedy for me cast downing the thing that attack for two at the time instead of the thing that attack for one because whenever they draw two lands then Knight of the Oven Legion is much scarier. This is a really easy discard on my opponent's part. Uh, I guess I guess they don't like how Soren. Gets attacked by Ravager, I guess. I mean, just just get rid of Sanctum Seeker. Vampire Lord. Foolish. I bestow a mighty curse. That was a good draw. Show 
Luke some respect. That was a really good draw. All right, Legion's End. So if we bring that in, cut Noxious Grasp, and just run this. I can play Elder Spell also. Yeah, let me play Elder Spell over a Narset. Maybe Rao instead of Ascanta. With Ascanta getting mortified. <laughs> Ritual of Scoop. All right, game number two. We're now 4-0 in games that our opponent has not played Vinemare and o still 0-2 against Vinemare. It would be a weird sideboard card to see a Vinemare here, that's for sure, but you never know. I could just... Rotations on the 26th, so 11 days from now. Hmm. They took duress. That was not an, an expectation that I had. I forgot about all these duresses in my deck, to be honest. They're not spectacular here. Man, there's nothing wrong with Bedevil. That's a card I want to see. I hope they draw a creature that gets ritual sitted here. Nope. We do need black mana still. Black mana. The gods once. I am one again. My revenge will be pain. <laughs> they should exile there the Legion's no landing. Weakness I cannot exploit. I will wipe your bloodline from existence. I want to bedevil um a like Gideon or Soren.
Hmm. Wanted to have uh, blue black available in case of in case we grab thought erasure because I could definitely see them having another devout decree over there. All right, GGS. All right, two and one. So our deck has looked really good except for if our opponent plays Vine Mare. Besides that, we're 5-0 in games. Just can't beat that elemental horse. But besides that, we're looking good. Down, 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 down. Please don't be a Vine Mare deck. Okay, probably not Vine Mare, but still not super easy. That's... Prowess. So we can't beat it. It's a bit, a bit exaggerated. You have Kefnet and Ego. We have one Kefnet in the deck. They have four Vine Mares. We have one to block. And even just taking turn three off to Vela Summer, or sorry, to uh, Unmoored Ego, which they may already have the Vine Mare in play anyway because of acceleration. A, and then you also have to hope your Unmordigo doesn't get Vela Summered B, and then you also against the the aggro deck you have to take turn three off that doesn't affect like any removal or anything like that and hope that you can Unmordigo and then still catch up. Perfect time for Cavalier of Thorns with me not having mana available. Yeah, I mean, Thought Erasure is just a better card than either. Like, saying that we have, like, Kefnet and Unmoored Ego, like, Thought Erasure is just a better shot of dealing with it than either of those cards. Or just our opponent not drawing it is our best shot. Unless I find Ritual of Set, this is going to get really ugly really quickly for us. I won't forget our time together. All right, well that that counts. Oh, I should attack first. Whoops. Left two damage out there. My bad. My bad. Why, why do you assume that our opponent has a bad version of the Quasi deck? 
Their their version looks. I don't. I haven't seen a single thing that looks like they have a bad version of this deck yet. Because they're playing what? Because they're playing Wild Growth Walker and Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's self mill deck. Will resonate throughout the multiverse. I will return one day. My intellect is without limit. This matchup doesn't really get that much easier for us after sideboarding because Veil of Summer is such a powerful card. But the, the triple Risen Reef early. Difficult to deal with. Risen Reef's annoying, but Bowmat Courier, now that's a mistake. The other three decks we're playing today are all Risen Reef decks. I can't complain too much about the card. But yeah, I, I agree that I I prefer Risen Reef to Nexus of Fade Do not any day of the week. But this looks pretty over. <laughs> this is a good matchup for our opponent. So last game I didn't, a big mistake I made was I, I tapped out for Nicol Bolas the Ravager. I didn't keep the mana up for Noxious Grasp, which I need to do. I need to, I need to hold up Noxious Grasp or cast down to kill Cavalier Thorns on sight. Not killing Cavalier, not being able to kill Cavalier Thorn on sight meant that um, my opponent got to get back the Risen Reef. Uh, you know, got to put that back on top, and then they got to Risen Reef with Quasi Duplicate. So I think if I just don't play Ravager, would have been in a better spot, but I don't know about how good of a spot, but it's certainly a better one. Yeah, I don't really want Chandra. I do, I do like Chandra's like minus one just to exile a Risen Reef kind of thing.
Not sure what I want to take out for the other two cards. It may just be the duresses. Um, no, I, I was planning on playing a dis the disinformation camp, like Grix's disinformation campaign again, yes, but not not with counter spells. I disinformation campaign and counter spells don't play well together. Ugh, bunch of tap lands. This is not likely to get us there, but we'll see. I would be... I'm going to be really surprised if we win this game. As someone who's played a lot of the opponent's deck, this is like the dream matchup. <laughs> our opponent's deck. And also the Vine Mare deck, kind of the same thing, so... Not great for me. Played... Two of our worst matchups here. So this is the problem with Cavalier of Thorns. Like I, I should be Ritual of Sitting right now, but I, I can't because of Cavalier of Thorns getting back Risen Reef. I guess that's the way. I guess, yeah, I guess that's just the way it goes. So obviously they have Veil of Summer also. Yeah, it's really hard to, like, Grixis was already hard to play. It's really hard to play Grixis with all these, with all this Veil of Summer everywhere. Yay! Bedevil and Noxious Grasp are like the same thing, but um, Bedevil just costs three mana, so I'm using the card that costs three mana. I'm saying yay because they didn't have another land whenever they played that. It's a good, good call there, Slaver. So saying that these harder matchups make make the deck more fun and make the Make magic not steal. That's good. So as you can tell, so no Veil of Summer, but as you can tell, uh, just looking at all the stuff that my opponent has, we kind of have no shot. Kind of have no shot at all. No, you have to take Tamio because if you don't take Tamio, then Tamio gets back whatever you take. Crasis and 
Krasis and Tamiyo are like their biggest threats there, but if I take like Krasis or even Cavalier, then they, when they play Tamiyo, they'll just, well, they do, they should, they should just minus and get it back and then you just grasp it and then you didn't do anything. What decks beat Grixis control? Our opponent's deck and mono green aggro with vine mares. Those two have wonderful Grixis control matchups. Okay. We're, we're never going to win that matchup. All right, but we're 2-2. Two and two. Let's see if we get the 3-2. Yeah, mono, mono Red's not a good matchup either, but Mono Red is... It's certainly winnable. Those mono green when your opponent draws vine mare is not winnable, and um, that matchup right there is not winnable. But yeah, mono red is. <clears throat> is favored but it's it's really pretty close it's not monored's not uh, a huge favorite but they're definitely favored um esper can be favored depending on what cards they're playing you know like a esper, like there's so many different esper variants but depending on their cards they can be favored as well It's it's not that we have so many bad matchups. We like how often do you play against the the Simic quasi duplicate deck or mono green aggro? But like vampires is is really good. Like vampires is a really good matchup for us. The field of the dead decks love playing against all those decks. Um, it's not like that we that we just don't have any good matchups. Most most of the mid range decks, like we you know how we played against like the Golgari one earlier, we're pretty good against. You regularly play against Simic quasi duplicate? Regularly? Good old magic.
one out of every four or five matches you play against Simic Quasi Duplicate. So that means it's 20 to 25% of the metagame. That would be insanely high. That'd be like the most popular deck by quite a ways. Don't think that deck's 20 to 25% of the metagame. Probably closer to Those who cannot three to five percent. I was not prepared for this. Yay, land. Yay, land. All right, it's looking good for us. We, the old, usually mana screw beats mana flood kind of thing. I'm gonna keep the Ascanto just like this. For another turn, it cost me two life to get the um, as Canter trigger one more time. I don't need that extra mana for anything. Oh. Well, I guess I kind of forgot about Nissa. Oh, thank you. My opponent just attacked me. Mortal Nicole Bolas will be your defiance has so, I could play Chandra there and just minus six to kill the Nissa and then we take five. Oh. Never mind. It was looking good for us for a little bit, but I guess not. Thought we were going to win that. Oh, the. I don't know why. Huh. Yeah, the two wasn't just showing up. I just put a space behind the two, and then it showed up. I don't know why. It didn't. But thanks for letting me know, Moxie. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know the record was messed up over there. Hmm. I kind of feel like <clears throat> maybe I should be treating this 
More like the Golgari deck with bringing in the negates as well. I don't I don't love Chandra. I don't love Legion's End. Oh, none of these are a Shockland. Makes my life worse. Glad to hear that, Hogs. I'm glad you're enjoying Demir Control in Standard 2020. Yeah, glad to hear it. Okay. Trust me. You'll I've got it. Be a bad idea. I don't want that steam vent. I mean, I just don't. I mean, I know it is a land that this is hardly my worst. Um, you know, comes into play untapped. That kind of helps us. But honestly, we just don't really need it. Like, we're gonna draw other lands. We don't need to take that. Legion's End is perfectly fine against the Voracious Hydra. Good against that thing too. Love to draw a Ritual of Soot. That's the card that we that we're looking for. It's a card that just clears up everything. Like Ritual of Soot put them down to like how like they've done a really good job of not drawing lands. But if we find Ritual of Soot, we will be looking quite good. I mean honestly here just a land drop now, since they didn't Since they didn't play um, the Voracious Hydra. Ugh. But yeah, if I would have drawn a, you know, had to been a shock land, but would have just Chandra minus three. Obviously. I have other schemes to attend to. That's more like it. Yeah, you know, playing as Kanta just gets bounced by Teferi. Obviously, Nicol Bolas does too, but it takes out that Voracious Hydra. At least. Maybe they'll draw some lands now. You can land, draw a shock land or ritual of soot. Wow. There goes nothing. All right, so Chandra does not kill that thing. Wow, this is incredible. 
They've gone through so many cards, and they just only draw three, exactly three lands. Incredible. It's just all gas. Gone through 17 cards. Good game. We have to shock in here to, to play this, and to play Chandra it doesn't kill Risen Reef or Tristani. I mean, I, I surveilled away my sixth land, thinking that we would draw, you know, find another sixth land, and obviously we didn't, so obviously that cost me that game, getting rid of that land. That's just not something you expect, you know, like the next five or six draws, whatever we had, not, not to be any lands, and them also never drawing lands and just having just all gas the whole time and not only did we not have a land we also didn't draw any of the four ritual of sets you know like a, a ritual of set would have put that one away but we couldn't draw that one it's magic um yeah it's magic all right uh grixis control um basically went 2-1 in in you know like our our realistic matchups there's there's, as as y'all know from just watching that, you know, like we have like the Simic quasi duplicate deck. You're never gonna beat with this, and that's okay. And um, you know, like that's like a, you know, like one out of, you know, like that's like a you know two to five percent of the the meta game that you're not gonna beat. That's fine. Um, and then. Uh, Vine Mare as a card specifically, uh, if you you play against Mono Green Aggro, it's basically like if you they don't have Vine Mare, you're probably going to win because your re removal is good against them. But if they do have Vine Mare, you don't. You're not going to win. I have to say that during this league, Chandra did not look very good. However, the last time we played the deck, uh, I was not really like I usually like Ugin in this deck. But the last time I played this deck was actually a donation deck list, which is almost exactly like this. I, I basically, we did really well with it, so I, I didn't really change very much at all. But um, Chandra was really, really impressive, and Chandra was winning us a lot of games that that uh, Ugin would not have. So kept the Chandras, but this time we saw a lot of Risen Reefs and Elemental Creatures, and Chandra did not look good this time. That's just how it goes, though. Um... But yeah, uh, there's a lot of, um, yeah, like, like last time, you know, we played against a lot of combo decks and we we're doing really well there, like combo, combo decks and then like some other aggro decks like vampires and stuff. Um, didn't quite go so well for us. All right. Uh, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, though, hope you enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. But thanks for watching some Grixis Control. And I'll see you for the next video.